In this video, we're going to build a 741 op amp wired in a stable mode. As you can see, the output keeps alternating high and low, and we could call this a square wave generator circuit. So, I actually just uploaded a video covering this, but I didn't really wire it right. So, I wired it for a non polarized capacitor. We have a polarized capacitor, so I should wire it like this. But in any case, I'm just going to redo the video. So, now, as we've done in uh, recent videos we have 18 volts at the power supply I'm providing that with the bench power supply at the rails I should say so positive comes there and a jumper brings it over to there and then there's a blue jumper here another jumper brings the negative over to there so 18 volts with this op amp here 741 op amp we're gonna split the rail and so we have a halfway point here so in relationship to this point this will become our ground our zero volt reference point will have a positive 9 volts and a positive or negative I mean and a negative 9 volts to that rail so there's still 18 volts to deal with but now we're centered and we're working our way either up or down positive voltage or negative voltage so to begin with this is a timing circuit and so we're going to use a resistor and or a capacitor I mean here and a resistor so that's 10 microfarad and uh, it's rated for up to 50 volts we're only dealing with 18 volts so we don't have to worry so in the last video I wired it to the uh, ground you can do that with a non polarized capacitor and I uh, shouldn't do that with the polarized capacitor and I didn't think it through but uh, I was just going by a non polarized capacitor schematic for my build so we're going to plug it to the inverting input right there and so the negative side of it is to the negative rail, the most negative point of the circuit. And so that side can never become more positive than that side in this circuit. Now, we are going to be charging and discharging this capacitor. So for a nice speed for this video and the 10 microfarad capacitance, a 33,000 ohm, 33 kilo ohm resistor, works really well as you could see you could see the timing that we got from that so with this capacitor we're gonna put the uh, resistor to the output I'm gonna leave a space though at the output for another resistor so that's third pin down pin number six is the output and then to the inverting pin so 33,000 ohm resistor 33 kilo ohm keeping the same capacitor larger value resistor will just take longer for the capacitor charge and discharge and the flash to happen to uh, alternate and then lower value resistor the capacitor will charge faster will get a and discharge faster will get a faster flashing now the other voltage we have to deal with we're going to use a couple 10 kilo ohm resistors 10,000 ohm resistors and one of them is going to go to ground so I have the uh, output of that uh, amp there our zero volt reference point and then another jumper here so the ground goes to this side too and we're gonna put that to the non inverting input right there and then there's only one more thing for this circuit other than adding a load that uh, lights up so it's kinda easy to see what's going on so another 10 kilo ohm resistor we're gonna put to the non inverting input and then to the output right there so that's it there's only three pins to wire up and we got the power pins the extra pins are for more uh, uh, demanding circuits so in any case I never make those circuits so all we're dealing with in the videos I make are powering the 741 op amp the two inputs and the output and now let's get to the load so we want this LED to light up when the output is more positive than our zero volt reference point. So we're going to put the long lead, the anode, down one row there. Short lead, the cathode, is going to go to our zero volt reference point jumper right there. That goes to the output of that 741 op amp. And the green one, we're going to wire in the opposite direction. We want the short lead now because we want this to light up when the output's more negative than our zero volt reference point. So the long lead, the anodes are going to go to our zero volt reference point. Short lead, the cathode, is going to go down one row. And 
we're going to limit the current with a resistor. So this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. It's a lot more than we need. We could use about 470 or so. Since we kind of expect 9 volts, we won't even get that either positive or negative. And, uh, but these LEDs get bright enough with a 1 kilo ohm resistor. So we're at the bottom of the LEDs there and at the output there. And that is it. So the power is turned off. I will turn the power on and so it took a little bit for the capacitor to charge to what it needs to to balance but now it's just charging and discharging back and forth between two voltages the output keeps changing and the output based on what the outputs doing the capacitor is either charging or discharging and the uh, other input the non-inverting input is setting what the capacitor is going to have to charge or discharge to. So it's at the zero volt reference point comes here and then the other resistor comes to the output so sometimes we're getting a positive signal there and then sometimes we're getting a negative signal there and then we also have the voltage over there. So we have a voltage divider but we have changing voltages. So I'm gonna look at that in the next video with uh, the multimeter and so hopefully that made sense and uh, you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching I will see you in the next video.